Hello friends, we'll start with the uh, subject transfer of property act and we'll try to cover all the relevant topics from this chapter uh, from this act. So it deals with transfer of property. Now transfer can be done of property, property that is movable and immovable. Obviously it will cover the tangible and intangible property also need not to mention tangible and intangible also now so transfer can be done of property movable immovable tangible intangible transfer can be done by act of the parties intervivors that is between living person a transfer is property to be both of them are living intervivors means between living person also known as non testamentary transfer now Transfer can be done by operation of law, for example, succession by order of court, attachment and sale or in execution of decree, testamentary transfer by will. So by this mode, we can go for transferring a property. Now transfer of property at TPA. TPA deals with first only that is transfer by act of parties inter vivos. The preamble and scheme of the act clears it. The preamble says to define and amend certain part of law relating to transfer of property by act of parties. And if you go to section number 5, what it says, section 5, transfer of property defined. In the following section, transfer of property means, what it will means, an act by which a living person conveys the property in present or in future will uh, discuss this section also in detail but now the purpose is by a living person to one or another living person or to himself so TPA deals with transfer of property by act of parties inter vivos. now scheme of TPA it consists of 8 chapters 137 sections note chapters 137 sections it came into force on first day of july 1882 and for the purpose of understanding tpa can be divided into three parts part one talks about chapter one section one to four pre and definition interpretation close then part two that is chapter two section five to fifty three a these are the rules regarding transfer now this chapter can be further divided into two parts section 5 to 37 deals with both movable and immovable property and then 38 to 53a deals with immovable property only now do remember that there can never be scientific demarcation or scientific classification of sections in a bare act one section from first chapter may be connected with the last section second last section or to some other law also now part 3 deals with section 54 to 137 it deals with kinds of transfer covered by TPA okay so trans kinds of transfer by these part 3 section 54 to 137 six kinds of transfer are there six kind of transfer have been provided by TPA sale mortgage lease exchange gift and actionable claim only these can be transferred under transfer of property act now which apply to immobile property chapter 3 sale 54 to 57 chapter 4 mortgage 58 to 104 chapter 5 lease 105 to 117 and of any property movable immovable chapter 6 exchange 118 to 121 chapter 7 gift 122 to 129 and applying on movable property only chapter 8 actionable claim now transfer it is tpa transfer of property so what do you mean by transfer transfer as per dictionary meaning means to convey or remove for one place person etc to another to cause to pass from one person to another so here this conveying passing from one person to another is of certain property hence transfer is being done of the property both movable and immovable and in the following ways sale i just told you mortgage lease exchange gift and actionable claim 
now said transfer has to be done between living person only both the person parties that is transfer and transfer you have to be alive while transfer is being done it does not deal with transfer due to will by operation of law i told you in case collector of gorakhpur versus palakdhari what happened court said that act is not complete statute as to transfer of property why because we have seen in preamble also amend define and amend certain parts of law relating to transfer of property and these are the six ways by which which are being dealt apart from that so guys there sale of goods act pledge is there which is there in contract part 2 A.N. Lothi v. Narmada Bai, A.R. 1953. In this case, court said that this act would apply to other states of India where it is not applicable. Initially, it was not applicable in some seven states, but after this case law, it was extended. Now, definition: immovable property. Section three of TPA. It is interpretation clause. That is definition clause. So, 2.1 immovable property. Section three TPA. Immovable property. does not include standing timber growing crops or grass this is the definition given by tpa now it is a negative definition which says your property does not include standing timber growing crops or grass for the purpose of understanding if we go to section 3 clause 26 of general clauses act your property is defined as land benefit arising of the land rent and other things whatever the benefit the money the income things attached to earth things rooted in the earth things embedded in the earth and things attached to what is so embedded in the earth like wall window poles door fence etc so things attached to earth trees building they are attached to earth things rooted in the earth building you give foundation trees they are rooted in the earth okay things embedded in the earth embedded means when you affix it into the earth like uh, walls and foundation we are not going into technical aspect that rooted and embedded but the purpose is that it has been permanently attached to the earth or permanently embedded or attached to what is attached in the earth for example wo- uh, windows poles doors so if there is a building and window doors fence etc have been embedded in that it will also be immovable property but when you severe it it will become movable property when you remove it when you remove the window you remove the doors you remove the poles they become movable property now for the purpose of understanding reference may be given on the theft under ipc it also talks about that when a property so long it is attached to earth it is not a subject matter of theft as the moment it is severed from the earth it will become movable property theft can be done of movable property now does not include standing timber growing crops or grass because they 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 are immovable property when they are attached or fixed to the earth once you severe they become movable property now their purpose is that they will be removed from the earth that's why this negative definition it is a matter of understanding only you cannot just cram it now property consist of what will be included in the property interest like easement right rent benefit okay so interest will be there in property ownership okay section 6 talks about the exception that is situation when transfer of property cannot be done under the act that will also cover later on so interest ownership and one thing we can also mention here is possession okay so you may be having possession without having ownership there may be structures for that now in order to make the transfer in any of the ways given so you will be requiring possession ownership as the case may be so only if you have ownership you can send it but if you are allowed to do sublease okay you are allowed to go for sublease then possession is required so if you have possession of the property through lease then you can sublease is okay so interest ownership and possession now attested attested means in relation to an instrument instrument here means these legal uh, documents deeds for example sale agreement lease agreement lease deed sale deed okay so deed document instrument are used synonymously 
means and shall be deemed always to have meant attested by two or more person this is the main requirement it has to be tested by two or more person now in what conditions three conditions are there each of whom has seen the executant sign or affix his marks on the instrument executant means the party to the instrument they have sign or affix his mark okay they have seen it or if they have not seen it they have seen some other person sign the instrument in the presence and by direction of executant so executant had said x y z that we sign this document and they have signed and this person are witnessing it or has received from the executant a personal acknowledgement of his signature or mark or of signature of such other person in all of these cases two person two or more person they can attest the document and each of whom has signed the instrument in the presence of the executant so this is an this is important but it shall not be necessary that more than one of such witness shall have been present at the same time and no particular form of attestation is required look what is the purpose what is the essence the sense is that the witness who is signing the document must be aware of the content of the document that is the requirement in practice i'll tell you uh, the executant sign the document then they take the document to the witness at witness place and then witness sign it and then they come back and get it attested and registered notice what do you mean by notice notice means a person is said to have notice of a fact when he actually knows the fact that is express notice okay a person is said to have notice the fact when he actually knows the fact if he actually knows the fact it will be express notice when but for willful abstains from an inquiry or search which he is ought to have made or gross negligence that will be considered as implied or constructive notice look suppose you are going to purchase a property okay now you are not checking the property with the patwari house or with the registry house now you are willfully abstaining from an inquiry or search which you should do so if you do not make this inquiry you cannot say that you did not have notice this is implied or constructive notice you should have gone to the registry or patwari house or as the case may be and you should have checked the record of the document if you did not do it you cannot claim you did not have any notice this is implied or constructive notice the document which is being with public office it is implied and constructive notice to all similar to like memorandum of association and article of association it's a constructive notice that they are available with on company website or with the registrar of the companies you go and check you cannot say that i was not aware of that okay now we are not going into the technicality of express notice implied or constructive many places you will find express is different implied is different constructive is different many places implied or constructive have been considered as synonym so we are not going into that technicality but for the purpose of convenience i have mentioned it here express notice direct communication implied which is indirectly communicated by party communicated by the conduct of the party and then constructive notice which is assumed by the party to have happened for example if property is not registered in the name of so called seller and not in record it is clear that so called seller is not the owner now explanation one explanation says it says registration notice of such instrument it says that a party would be deemed to have notice of instrument when a party would be deemed to have notice of instrument if the instrument has been registered in the manner prescribed by indian registration act the instrument or memorandum has been duly entered or filed as the case may be in the books cap under section 51 of that act third particulars regarding the transaction of which the instrument relate have been correctly entered in the indexes kept by section 55 of the act meaning thereby on all the given on all the given fronts on the given records the document is there so registration of notice so if document is available at these fronts it will be a notice of registration and this explanation is of notice only definition of notice consists of this explanation explanation 2 says regarding notice of title now only when you have title you can 
sell it title means your ownership right of ownership it says that party going for removal property is deemed to have notice of title as to person who is in actual possession of the property so they will be available they 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 should know that who is in actual possession now okay there mr a might have title of ownership but mr b might be there in possession or mr a having title and also having possession so you need to ascertain who is in the possession who is having the title and what is the relation between them sometime owner give the property on lease and then sell it so many things are there in uh, when when they happen so explanation 3 says notice to agent would be deemed to notice to master or principal that is principal agent relation now 2.4 the for for the definition instrument instrument means non testamentary instrument testamentary means will and we have discussed also that it applies to non testamentary instrument testament instrument means will where tpa does not apply now section 5 transfer of property section 5 talks about as i told you previously also transfer of property defined what does it means it says an act by which a living person conveys property in present or in future for example a transfer property to for life a transfer property to b for life and then after b is that the property would go to c here transfer to b is immediate but transfer to c would happen in future so act by which a living person conveys property in present or in future to one or more other living person or to himself one or more other living person or to himself how he can uh, sell property to himself for example a vest the property in trust and become the trustee or manager of the trust a person can transfer to himself but in certain different capacity like trustee look here transferring himself does not means he is the owner and he is selling it to himself he is getting the property in some other capacity okay so person person here living person we are we know what are living person humans but person means companies private uh, person means companies juristic artificial natural all the persons are covered here in the meaning of person so in some other capacity you can get the property or to himself or to one or other living person and to transfer properties to perform such an act so transfer of property being done by act of parties where they are conveying the property in present or in future to one or more other living person or to himself or to himself and one or more other living person whatever the combination is now in pramtha nath versus pradyuman kumar 1925 what happens it is uh, one of its kind case privy council said that a dedication to an idol is not a transfer okay as per the code neither god nor any supernatural being can be a person okay but as far as deity or idol stands as the representative and symbol of particular purpose indicated by the donor it can figure as a legal person so they are legal person okay fine they are legal person in the sense that uh, uh, trust or thing are being happening in their name that is fine but they cannot be considered as a person for the purpose of transferring the property they does not come in the capacity of person living person when it comes to transfer of property wherever you see mat or idol or these kind of things are being maintained by one or the other entity in sunil siddhant bai versus commissioner of income tax 1986 supreme court said that transfer of property means passing of a right in the property from one person to another just an elaboration because when you are will do it in further lectures also when you are selling the property everything with the property goes unless contrary appears from the context section 6 what may be transferred section 6 tell us what may be transferred so it says except situation mentioned in section 6 and situation mentioned in any other law it property can be transferred so situations mentioned under section 6 these are the situations where transfer cannot be done okay so what may be transferred except what is provided in 
section 6 these 1 2 3 ok in this point total 10 in number and if something is barred something is barred from any other law to be transferred that cannot be transferred apart from this anything can be transferred subject to law obviously subject to law when we deal with law it deals uh, it, it regulate the society in an artificial manner ok so we cannot expect much we create legal fiction to regulate the society so it is very difficult to re rule out the things because one law may get connected to another and you never know it so now section 6 situations mentioned in section 6 the chance of what hair apparent succeeding to an estate this is spec successionist also known as this point is known as spec successionist then b chance of legacy then c possibility of like nature it says that if you have a chance of getting the property by legacy or by hair apparent or any possibility of similar nature you cannot transfer suppose A thinks A thinks that his father's property would definitely come to him maybe father has made some will or he may change his mind at the end moment whatever the consistency is but in such case in such case a cannot transfer the property because he has no title but only chance to get it so just because you have a chance to get the property does not means that you can sell it okay you cannot transfer it now you may be thinking that why will is there when you get the property in will you get the ownership okay after you getting the ownership you are selling it to someone else inter vivos okay now chance of legacy Mr. A has chance that he will get X property through will. Fine. Now till he does not uh, get the title, he cannot transfer the property on mere chance of legacy. A cannot transfer this chance of legacy. A cannot transfer chance of heir apparent or any similar possibility of like nature. Now second, mere right to re-entry for breach of condition subsequent cannot be transferred cannot be transferred for example a has put a condition on the use of property okay he has given the property on lease to b and he said that if any permanent change to structure is made a would take the property back means if the condition is breached a will terminate the lease if b made permanent changes to the structure then a has right to re-enter the property he will terminate the lease and he will take the possession re-entry means taking the possession so this right of re-entry cannot be transferred to anyone by a a cannot transfer this right to anyone that he has uh, transferred the right to re-entry to cde he cannot do that he only he will have it he can sell the whole property that is a different thing ok so mere right to re-entry on breach of a condition subsequent so after lease he said that if any permanent changes would be made then he will terminate the lease third an easement cannot be transferred apart from dominant heritage so what is easement easement is right of way ok suppose you, are a, you, you have a house and it is surrounded by the uh, all the sites you do not have a right to go out and come in you cannot uh, means use the main gate because no place is there then the person adjacent to your property which is reasonable for you to reach the road or to get out of your house so that will be given to you that right of way will be given to you from others property if mr a has easement right over property of mr b meaning thereby mr a's house has adjacent and is surrounded by all the sides and he cannot go out so he has taken a right of way from Mr. B he is using Mr. B's property to go out and come in ok this right is known as easement or easementary right or right of way now Mr. A has easementary right over the property of B so Mr. A cannot transfer the easementary right to anyone Mr. A can only 
transfer the easementry right with dominant heritage okay dominant heritage is property of mr a the property for which right of easement is used is known as dominant heritage so a has a easementry right in order to a in order to move out he needs a right of way for his property so a's property is dominant heritage and the property over which you are exercising this right that is mr b's property okay it will be servient heritage so you cannot just sell the easementry right over b's property you can only do it when you transfer the dominant heritage when you transfer when you transfer your property this easementry right will also go i hope it would be clear if not you can drop the message in the comment box comment box interest restricted to the enjoyment of the owner now suppose a has given his property to be on lease okay a has given to his property to be on lease now b may use the property but cannot sell it since a the owner can only sell it this right cannot be transferred by a why because a has given the property on lease when lease will be terminated a can transfer so as of now during the pendency of this lease or such situation a cannot transfer his right to sell the property allowing his agent is a different thing but again that will happen when lease or such activity comes to an end or is terminated right to future maintenance cannot be transferred so a person is receiving some kind of maintenance a future maintenance okay that cannot be transferred suppose he may get uh, future maintenance of 10000 rupees 15000 rupees or whatever the amount is he cannot transfer that right so a if a has a right to future maintenance a cannot transfer that right to b b cannot claim future maintenance on behalf of a or by saying that a has transferred that right to b only a can do so a mere right to sue cannot be transferred but when you are selling your business you are selling or assigning it then obviously all the liabilities and rights will go that will be a different situation but just you uh, mere right to sue you cannot transfer a cannot transfer to b b going to the court and stating what st stating the court that his locus standi is that a has transferred him the right to sue that cannot happen by virtue of license is a different thing there are conditions for example in uh, you have studied in contract first uh, first part also that uh, this uh, uh, the uh, tenant tenant can pay the pay the amount or can secure the and can have the legal battle to secure his possession and that amount he will get from owner of the property but here owner has no transferred his right to sue by law tenant is having locus standi okay so mere right to sue cannot be transferred now public office salary of public officer cannot be transferred stipends allowed to military naval layer for civil pensioner political pensions cannot be transfer S suppose there are some freedom fighters government is giving them a uh, pensions or similar scheme is there they run one one or the other scheme at one or the other time okay so those will the, those things cannot be transferred now no transfer can be made which is against business policy for example black marketing or any example could be there okay which is against business policy whether object or consideration is lawful for this you can refer to contract part 1 also object or consideration if unlawful then transfer will definitely be unlawful for example object is that property will be used to manufacture ammunition or to manufacture opium or illegal substance to manufacture uh, any anything which is barred by law to manufacture uh, bombs okay or consideration is unlawful so mr a is allowing his property to be used for uh, to to be used on lease but consideration is that he is getting opium or intoxicant substance which are barred in written so when object or consideration is unlawful transfer cannot be made 
when a person is legally disqualified to be transferry unsound mind an uh, alien enemy insolvent person comes in this category following categories cannot assign their respective interest this is the last and 10th point following categories cannot assign their respective interest first tenant having an untransferable right to occupancy tenant having untransferable right to occupancy tenant having a right but it is untransferable he cannot transfer the occupancy the farmer of an estate in respect of which default has been made in paying revenue okay farmer of an estate in respect of which default has been made in paying revenue and the lessee of an estate under the management of court of wards so they these people cannot assign their respective interest this is in a four lecture one we'll continue in lecture two for the topics if you not able to get or understand any point you can drop the message in comment or contact now best wishes we'll meet in next lecture